Hello and welcome to this thing where I talk about stuff from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. I am Chris with a K. And today I'm going to talk about people I watch on YouTube. Not just anyone I watch on YouTube, but people I watch on YouTube that are Linux or open source related. And there's very few that I actually subscribe to. Uh, and the reason for that is because I just really don't enjoy most of the people out there doing videos on Linux. And so I just wanted to give you guys a few, not even a handful, of recommendations to check out if you haven't already. And one of the reasons I don't subscribe to a lot of the um, people out there on YouTube that are talking about Linux is because I find their videos, well, this is going to sound a little mean, pointless. Now, a lot of, most YouTube videos out there uh, that have lots of views that are about Linux are, oh, let me give you an overview of this distro. I'm going to give you a review of this distro. I'm going to try this distro today. Let me talk about this distro. Or they just talk about news stuff on distro. I do subscribe to Brian Lunduke. I'm not necessarily recommending him. I disagree with a lot of the stuff he says, but I find what he says interesting. But again, he just talks about Linux. And that's the thing. I don't need people to talk to me about Linux. I don't need people to review a Linux distro. They're free. I'll download one and try it. They're live CDs. I can pop it into any machine give it a try without committing. So I really don't don't care about that stuff. What I'm interested in is people who actually show me uh, software that I may not know about on a Linux uh, machine or, or how to do something um, or some hardware that works with uh, the Linux, you know, operating system, Linux kernel. Um, and really there's three names on YouTube that I recommend, only two that I actually subscribe to, one that I used to, but I don't anymore. Uh, and let me give you those names. Uh, is Luke Smith, who I've been subscribed to for maybe six months now, and I believe is a viewer of mine, so hi Luke. And Arthur Reeder, who is also a subscriber of mine, I believe. He's commented on a couple of my videos, uh, and I've been subscribed to him for years. And then someone who I used to be subscribed to, uh, but I don't anymore, is Got Bled To. Uh, and I believe he watches my videos as well. And sorry, I'm not subscribed to you anymore. Uh, let me start off with that. Why am I not subscribed to Got Bled To anymore? It's a personal opinion. And I, I know I'm going to say this, I'm going to get a lot of people writing comments, is uh, at least back in the day, and I did recently watch some of his videos, and he doesn't seem to do it quite as much anymore, is he curses a lot. And I personally just don't enjoy listening to people curse a lot, uh, you know, uh, just in their random talk. And again, that's my own personal opinion. If you don't mind that, I, I I do recommend him besides that, you know, just make sure your kids aren't around and that you don't mind hearing that. And again, that's just my personal opinion. That's why I stopped subscribing to him. But his videos are great. He does stuff on software and on, on scripting, which are great. And I do go and watch his videos, you know, from time to time. I just don't subscribe to him anymore. And again, that's just a personal thing. Got blood to you do great videos. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't be mad at me for, for that. You know, a lot of people think that's nothing. And I just, I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. I just don't enjoy listening to people curse. Going on from that, Arthur Reader does curse occasionally. Arthur, cut it out. No, but um, he doesn't do it a whole lot, uh, but his videos are good. He doesn't post a whole lot. Uh, in fact, I think there was a year or two there where he didn't really post any, but he's been posting, uh, you know, one every couple of weeks now. And his videos are again, on software he likes to use. Uh, and then sometimes he's been reviewing some cameras recently that he's gotten. So I definitely check him out. But someone who I've really enjoyed lately and I just you know started subscribing to him a couple months ago is, uh, is um, uh, Luke Smith. Uh, Luke Smith, he's the reason I started using i3 Window Manager, uh, which I love. He does great videos on configuring software for that. He has a lot of uh, packages or scripts and configuration files he's put up online for you to use. Uh, and then sometimes he just does videos where he talks. And um, what, again, is not necessarily something that I normally look for in Linux videos, but a lot of times when he's talking, he's not necessarily talking about Linux videos. So, so just be aware he talks about things that are just his points of view. Um, and I enjoy listening to what he has to say, but mainly I go to his videos for, you know, his recommendations on software and there's been a number of things like recently I started using a image viewer that he talked about uh, called XXIV. I don't know if there's a way you're supposed to pronounce that but it's SXIV. It should be in your repositories and I actually uh, started using that as a thumbnail viewer for a script I wrote to watch YouTube videos. Um, so again those are three guys I do recommend that actually show you how to do stuff in Linux. They don't just talk about Linux. 
Um, you know, years ago, I subscribed to, and I don't think he does YouTube videos anymore. Oh, what was the guy's name? He did um, Today in Linux. Was that the name of the show? Uh, where he talked about news in Linux. And I watched him for a while. Why can't I remember that guy's name? Anyway, uh, he did good videos. But again, I really don't care for people talking about... I, I get, you know, I have news feeds. I can see news updates. And so when I'm talking about recommendations I'm giving to you guys, on um, people to view on YouTube, it's usually people who actually teach you stuff. Kind of like my tutorials. I uh, This is kind of a... I don't want to say a sore subject for me. I get it. People, I just look at some of these channels who have, they have hundreds of thousands of views on their videos and they don't really teach you anything. They just talk about what's in the news or talk about what's going on with Linux, and which is fine. I just don't find that as useful as videos that actually teach you how to do stuff. And lots of times these videos, these people who do videos on how to do stuff, how to write scripts, how to configure stuff, how to use software, they usually have very few views. And I get it. You know, talking about Linux in general uh, might be more entertaining. Um, and uh, someone who I do subscribe to, again, I'm not recommending as far as my viewers. And I'm again, I'm recommending people who show you how to do stuff. Uh, Gardner, the Linux gamer. Uh, I, I subscribe to him. I don't watch all his videos. And a lot of it's just talking about what's going on in Linux and his viewpoints, which is great. But my recommendations are people who actually teach you how to do stuff. And it just makes me sad that, that these channels don't get nearly as many views as someone who just talks about stuff. You know, I find people who teach you stuff more useful. But I, then again, when they're teaching you stuff, they're usually very specific. If you're not looking to learn how to do that specific thing, the video is not interesting to you. Where people are just talking about stuff in general are going to hit more of a broad scale when it comes to people who are interested in those videos. Uh, where I'm interested in those topics, not as interested in as I am in something else, but there's more people who are interested in those topics. So again, the three names I recommend uh, when it comes to learning how to do stuff in Linux, and again, uh, scripting, you know, programming in general, configuring or usage of software, open source software, free software on a Linux operating system. Uh, Luke Smith, Arthur Reader, whose channel I think is called Arthur Sucks, uh, and Got Bled To. Uh, check out those guys if you are looking for channels um, that I feel are, are somewhat similar to mine where they actually teach you some sort of scripting or go over how software works in the free and open source world. If you have any recommendations on channels I should check out, if you have a channel and you post videos uh, on Linux, even, even if you just, you're just you one of those people who talks about Linux, I'll be glad to check it out. Let me know in the comments below, but definitely if you have a channel where you go over uh, scripting or programming or configuring or usage of software in Linux, uh, and preferably free and or open source software, uh, I would love to check it out because I would love to have more channel channels to check out. Uh, but definitely um, let me know down in the comments, uh, especially if you uh, are doing videos that uh, I would definitely be interested in. And again, any, anything in the, that area of subjects it would be, um, I really wish that I knew more C programming. My best friend James is a C programmer, but he doesn't live near me. Otherwise, I'd be picking his brain more. And anytime I sit down to do C, it's I'm at that point uh, in my life where uh, I'm very comfortable with what I can do. I know a few programming languages. I do almost everything I do, either in Bash or JavaScript. Oh no, he uses JavaScript. I get a lot of people, you know, when it comes to scripting language, when it comes to any language, people complain about, you know, different languages uh, if it's not the language they use. But, um, I, I definitely would like to learn more about C. I just, every time I sit down and do it, it's like, well, I can already do this in Bash. I can already do this in JavaScript. I can already do this in, in Python, which I barely use Python anymore. And it's just hard to learn something new when you don't need to. When I was coming through and learning the programming languages I'm, I currently know, it's to accomplish tests, to, to learn how to do something, but it's hard to learn a new programming language when you already know how to do it in one. But anyway, Again, I do thank you for subscribing to my channel here and going to my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K, link in the description. Go ahead and, and check that out. And again, check out Arthur Reader, Got Bled To, Luke Smith. Uh, you know, watch a couple of videos and if you like them, subscribe to them. And if you guys are watching this video, hey guys, thanks for watching. And keep doing your videos because I do enjoy them. And I hope that uh, you all have a great day. And... Um, yeah, that's it. Have a great day. Bye.